Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Went to a small coin show near us this weekend and it didn't disappoint. Found a few cool PLs, uh, found a pretty nice walker, and found some old holders. But you're not going to want to miss this episode. Let's get it started. So over the past month, uh, ever since the TNA show, there hasn't been too many kind of coin shows in the South, which, uh, you know, partly because of just everything that's going on with the market in my, is my assumption. And also, um, you know, people are on vacation. People want to enjoy the summer. They want to go down to Florida or they want to go uh, chill out in the mountains, whatever they want to do. And so uh, coin shows that are you know back to back and always happening like some months are, you know, we have Grapevine and we have the Houston show. We have a bunch of things all kind of combined. Sometimes it just dries a lot of dealers out and they can't really find new inventory and they don't have time during the week to go look at collections and stuff like that. But when there's a month gap in time, um, it allows us to you know, invest in ourselves, do some, some housekeeping, and also think about how we wanna you know, change our business. But finally, after a whole month, we were able to go back to a coin show, and we went to the Houston show this weekend, and it was pretty good. I mean, we found a lot of nice coins, and we're very thankful for just the opportunities that we're able to have. Saw a lot of familiar faces there. Um, Adam, shout out to Adam if you're watching this video. Uh, you know, got to meet up with US Coin, do a little bit of business with them. And also, you know, uh, just we're able to add more coins to our online coin shop, AcousticCollectibles.com if you guys are interested. But yeah, let me show you guys some pretty unique pieces, our thoughts on them, and why we really love them when we pick them up. All right, guys, what a crazy weekend. Got a bunch of cool things I wanted to show you. Um, just very happy with the variety of stuff that we got. Uh, just to show you off one thing first, this is a 19, I'm sorry, 1899O Morgan Dollar. I'm pretty sure this is the 2.1 uh, Gen Morgan, uh, 2.1 Gen PCGS holder. As you can see, there's like that, uh, there's this frame that they have on the outside of the holder, and this is kind of like a rattle around the inside. And that's something that they just, you know, they had a little bit of a while back. Um, I think it's, it was in the 90s. And so these have been coming, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, popular nowadays since, uh, Rattlers are getting a little bit out of control in my opinion. And uh, just thought it was pretty interesting. That one sold pretty quickly this weekend. Make sure you guys are checking in on our website before we post videos like this because people are always checking our website. Uh, up next, we got a few SLQs to show you here. This is a 1929 uh, SLQ. The reason why I bought these is because they're just really nice looking coins. And uh, it's one of my favorite designs, honestly. I've never really kept one because uh, you know I haven't really found one that I think is just uh, different from the rest in terms of it's just eye appeal or color, but these were pretty nice and so I thought they'd be nice inventory pieces. Really nice bowl luster on this obverse here. And take a look, there's a little spot on the top where it says states, but still a pretty coin. Uh, the next one is probably my favorite of the three because it's a little bit of a tougher date to find. This is a 1918 uh, SLQ grade MS64 full head. Has some kind of toning on it that you know makes it look crusty. That's okay, and uh, when you flip over to the reverse, kind of the same way here. I picked this one up because I think the last one that sold was in like 2020 or something like that at an auction, and so when I was offered this one at Gray Sheet, I thought it was fair, and I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, like I said, it's not the most eye-appealing coin, but they just don't come up too often, and uh, that sometimes is worth just having for your customers. Uh, this one we got at the Houston show this weekend. It's 1926D uh, SOQ. The, the head's pretty smushed in, as you can see there. There's no chance at a full head. Uh, but I do like the luster on this coin. I'm not sure if it was dipped or not. And uh, just a stunning coin for sure. Look at the luster on the reverse. I thought it was just nice and beautiful. And so uh, don't mind taking risks on coins like this. Uh, this is a 1941S uh, Walking Liberty Half. I bought this coin because I know it's hard to see through the plastic, but there's no problems really in the fields at all. It's just a really awesome coin. This one's just um, kind of a household issue with 41S's is the strike is so weak. So if you see like from the bottom of the foot in the center, kind of from uh, 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, the strike is so weak on this coin that they downgraded all the way to a 64, which I think... You know, this one probably could have been a 65 all day. And so that's kind of why I bought it. And I thought it was interesting. 
because basically there's it's this coin's untouched there's nothing wrong with this coin apart from its weak strike on the obverse here and it's cc approved it's in an old ngc holder you know it's a it's a one piece ngc holder and i thought it was just beautiful probably my favorite pickup of the weekend for sure i i never go wrong with buying something that's cc approved um, in an old holder and it's just a really awesome coin to begin with we want to take a quick break in this video to ask you guys if you are enjoying this video please leave a like that lets us reach more people get them interested in the hobby but also interested in the videos that we like to create comment your thoughts on what's your favorite coin so far or which one you know if you guys see one later in the video that you like just comment your favorite coin and subscribe if you're new New episode of the Freedom Coin Show aired last Friday. Go check it out down below. We talked about a lot of interesting things, some controversial things that we really can't talk about on this channel. So you'll really love it and enjoy it. And we're coming out with a new episode this Friday. So you guys are going to want to check out our Freedom Coin Show podcast. It's getting, uh, it's getting wings to fly, and we hope you enjoy it. We will also be at the Grapevine Coin Show this Friday and Saturday. So make sure to stop by our table. We're going to be with Reliable Coins. We have many really cool things from our collection that we're possibly going to share with you guys there. We're also going to film a video, but we also want to meet you. If we're able to meet you, that'd be awesome because we can see what you like to collect and just really talk about the hobby. That's something that we really love, and we hope to see you there. Uh, I bought a CAC 1938S Mercury Dime. Another thing with strong luster was nice for the grade here. And uh, I have a lot of Mercury Dime guys that really do like, you know, assembling sets and want to start to get ones that are CAC approved uh, shout out to Richard uh, hope you're doing well brother and uh, I've been praying for you uh, we got we bought this coin and I think I owned this coin before but the reason why I bought this coin is because it has a strange grade it's a 1880 Morgan dollar grade AU 58 PL and the reason why I bought this coin is because it's just a tough coin to find a PL to begin with and when it's circulated as well I think it's just a really unique pocket and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy I got this coin. I do like the, the fields, and I do like the kind of the discrepancy between uh, the details and the fields there. Just kind of how mo most PLs appear to you. Uh, one of my favorite Commem designs, which I picked up another one this weekend. Uh, we're, we're picking them up left and right just because when I go on eBay, I feel like there's so many that are so overpriced that I can't even buy them and make $5 on, right? Or I can't even rationally get them and then tell you to buy them or tell you to look at them so we bought this one at uh, the Houston show this weekend has a little bit of a toning spot right under the R that isn't really that distracting it's just kind of interesting luster is pretty nice in this coin and uh, like I said I don't find too many Cali's that often that are right you know in the right ballpark in terms of pricing and so bought this coin and uh, I do like it don't mind looking at it every single day if someone doesn't pick it up and that's kind of the coins you need to buy for your uh, buy for your inventory and for your collection right um, got some rattlers this weekend and an old green holder we'll start off with the 78s not the most attractive coin in my opinion but i bought it because it's in a rattler holder and this one was one of the very few at the show this one was the oldest one as you can see just based on you know the coin that's in the holder um, this one is just uh, i've been talked to, talking to a few people that collect rattlers and basically they said that some people are starting sets that they're getting basically the first date of every series so the 78s is the first date of this series and that's something that people are looking at, out for um, they're also getting like you know what's the first date of the walker can i get that in a rattler what's the first date um you know a mercury dime can i get that in a rattler so a lot of those uh, people are coming out of the woodwork too everyone's hopping on rattlers right now and so i thought this one was decently priced like i said not the most attractive coin there's kind of some distracting toning uh, luster's not crazy but still uh, a rattler and uh, you know it is what it is uh, this one is another one of my favorites of the weekend this is a 1941 walking liberty half i mean just check out the luster on this coin really phenomenal no hairlines no issues at all i mean i think this one is really nice cat candidate and that's why i bought it if you look at the reverse here though i mean just stunning wow i like the luster on the coin i like the ogh aspect of the coin um, if this one doesn't sell, I'm probably just going to send it to CAC and see what happens with it. I think it's just a stunning piece, and uh, I hope you guys think so too. Bought this 1936 over the weekend also. This one, um, I just, you know, another coin that I don't see too often in Rattlers. I see a lot of 40s in Rattlers, 
you know, 41s and 42s. And this one I didn't I didn't see too often, and uh, I had one of my friends offer this to me at the show, and I was very thankful for that. And uh, so a lot of these have been fetching a pretty high number, and so that's something that you're able to work with at shows. You know, if you find something like this for uh, a kind of a conservative amount, just because they're hugging gray sheet on a lot of this stuff, um, rattlers do command close to retail or a little bit above sometimes. And so this one I thought was a really nice candidate. And we ended up buying it and ended up selling. So it's a, a pretty unique piece. This is a 1956 proof uh, Franklin half dollar. A few kind of, uh, I don't know if they were eating over this coin when they were putting in the slab, something like that. Kind of like a little bit of plastic shards coming off and just sitting there in the, in the holder. Uh, nothing really of issue. There's a kind of a few little touch of spots here on the bell. But I like the cameo look to the coin. I know I probably wouldn't grade cameo because of a few little spots here and there. But I like buying coins like this just because of the look that they have. And um, I think it's a pretty coin overall. And going down here, we got a little bit of touch of color, as you can see. But the first one is a nice blast white uh, 34D Oregon. I have a commem guy that really likes these and really likes wants to assemble a whole 100 set. If you guys want to assemble one too, just let me know. I'm going to try to help you guys out as well. Uh, send me a list of what you have, 832-538-4122. But I like the, the look on this coin. No distracting spots. Nice luster on the coin. And uh, I don't know. I think it's just a really interesting piece. Something that is, is good for the grade. I don't think it's anything higher than that. But I just do enjoy the look of the coin. You know, I think it has really nice eye appeal. Um, got a few coins from eBay, and uh, this one's actually from the show. I can't wait to share that one with you. This one's a 21D uh, Morgan dollar. A little bit harder coin to find tone, and so I bought this one because it was nice, colorful kind of rim there. Uh, you can see that scratch going all the way down the face. You know, so, someone, some coin banged up against this one, and that's kind of what led to that 63 grade. You can see uh, it's a nice still underlying luster, but uh, the rim still has that pretty nice bluish orangish color and so i try to buy 21 d's that are a little bit more interesting sometimes because if you buy one that's not so interesting is there's a million of them right so um here's a, a 1964 kennedy i bought on ebay this weekend and uh i mean the color on this coin is really nice just because it's a pretty cool bullseye type of look to it and i really do enjoy uh just the eye appeal of the coin and so did ngc they graded ms64 star and if you can get a star on a coin like this and it has the right color, I mean, you can expect to be able to sell it for a good premium. And so we have a collector that likes these a lot, and so we ended up sending, sending this one to him today. And uh, he's going to really like that one. Bought this organ over eBay as well just because it has a slight kind of uh, interesting character to it. You can see a little bit of this rim toning hugging the right side of the coin from all the way 12 to 6 and all the way to the right here. And it has some, you know, nice originality to the coin, in my opinion. And when you flip it over, it's got some really intense rim toning on the reverse here. And I thought it was beautiful, and a collector agreed with me. Someone picked this up, and I'm very happy about that. Trying to get more into, like I said, just find something unique. Find something that separates it from the pack. And I think that Oregon did that a lot for them, and that's why they enjoyed it. This one's a little bit hard to show you guys, but I'm going to show a video right now of it. So this one we picked up at the show for 38 bucks. I don't really share like what we make too often on coins, but this one really had some nice color. It was interesting. It was only proof 62, and we ended up selling this coin for around $225. So sometimes uh, the color on a coin can really, uh, really offer a premium for you, especially when you're working with uh, people that know how to sell color, know how to work with color. We ended up selling that one to a wholesaler that just wants to offer more of a variety of coins, especially toned ones. Uh, the two coolest coins of the video, because they're going into the, the, the collection, it's a 1920 Pilgrim, great MS64 CAC. Um, just tough coins to find right now. I paid a premium for this coin. I paid out the ear for it. But I know that uh, in time, these are going to become probably the most uh, important coins, especially because they're in Rattlers. And they're very original. And um, most of the coins that you see nowadays, they either were dipped or they have something wrong with them. Or it's just very hard to 
fine coins that would cack that are also in rattlers and so um, it's just these coins are very awesome this one's uh the cali that i just replaced in my collection this is a 1925 s california great ms65 cack just uh, some nice original type of toning on the coin uh, there's a little spot between t and y but that's no problem I really do love this coin so, so much and uh, so happy that we were able to put it in the collection. And we're going to try to assemble a whole set, 100 set of, uh, of coins that are in these, these uh, commemoratives that are in Rattlers with the CAC stickers because I just think that they're still undervalued right now and I really do love the series and I can't wait to add on to them and show you guys. But let's cut it to the outro. Hello everyone, this is Casey with Akusha Collectibles. Uh, we wanted to take a break in this mo this video to say a quick prayer. Um, as Drew mentioned, we went to the Houston Coin Show, um, the summer version, not too long ago, past Friday. And when we go, we usually are greeted by a friendly face, uh, a subscriber possibly, a person that watches our videos and that invests in our business. Um, his name is Galen. As of recently, he had um, heart issues, congestive heart issues, and uh, we wanted to pray for him. And then we also have a friend that we hope to meet in person someday. His name is Richard. He is also having heart-related issues, so we wanted to say a prayer over those two gentlemen as well as you guys because our hope is that you stay safe and your family stays safe. and. Uh, we're able just to live out our lives the best we can. So let's have a, a quick prayer. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful for your presence and your love in our life. We want you, uh, please move on Galen and Richard's behalf. Heal their bodies, God. Help them to make a full recovery, an impossible recovery. Something that we can look at their healing and say, oh, it's, it's a God thing. We also pray for our subscriber base. We know that there's people all across the U.S. and all across the world that need your protection and your healing and your safety as well as their family. We're living in tough times, and uh, we need your peace, we need your comfort, and we need your hope. Thank you for all that you do. We love and adore you. In Jesus' name, amen. So we wanted to throw this extra bit in at the end if you guys like watching our videos and think we're kind of funny sometimes. So after the Houston Coin Show, we're like, man, we got to try something new. We got to be, you know, out being adventurous and stuff. And so I, I looked up Dave's Hot Chicken in Houston, okay? And, you know, we rolled up to the place and the guy was pretty cool talking about, you know, all the different things we can get. And we ended up getting the two slider and fries combo or whatever, right? And... You know, me just being on the wild side, I was like, Casey, just get the hottest chicken. Get the hottest chicken. It can't be that hot, right? And so we did. We rolled around to the, the window, and the guy, like, handed us these, these things to sign. And I'm like, you know, this is probably just the, they just need our signature for your card. No worries, right? And then while the guy's preparing the meal, we looked at it, and it was, uh, it was basically like a, basically signing away your life if, if this uh this chicken kills you or something right and so it was actually called the reaper so uh the california reaper if i'm if i'm correct casey carolina reaper, carolina reaper whatever um basically it's like one of the hottest peppers and they put that all over our chicken sliders that we got and so we ended up i ended up eating like three bites because uh you know i'm not as strong a man as casey is casey ate almost everything on that sandwich and uh, we, we were crying and laughing all the way um, to the freeway. And uh, the thing about these, these peppers is that you, once you get it on your hands, you can't touch your eyes because it'll basically, it can, it can make you blind. And so uh, I was crying and then snot was coming out of my nose and it was a really fun adventure. But we're, like I said, we're about to get to the freeway and I look over after us trying to split a 20 ounce water to work on these two sliders and there's a McDonald's and I'm like Casey go get go in there let's get some waters right and Casey's like I know what we're getting I know what's going to make this happen right and he go, rolls up to the window leans his shoulder like this and he's like four cones please or something like that 
And I thought it was hilarious because, you know, once you roll up the window, they hand you four cones and then we're basically both like this on the way home, eating one cone and then eating the other cone and trying to make them not melt while we're crying and the Reaper's still destroying us uh, physically. And then, uh, you know, you don't like when it goes in, but you also don't like when it goes out, right? So when it goes out, it, yeah, it just—it was just a very fun experience. Haunting us for days. It'll be haunting you for days if you get Dave's Hot Chicken, the Reaper. And uh, yeah, that was one of our coin show adventures. Nothing to do with coins, but we thought it was pretty funny. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts on our kind of interesting coin show story. And uh, subscribe if you're new. We've got new videos coming out every single week. Gonna be going to Grapevine, like we said this weekend, filming a little bit of that, doing some business. We're happy to do business with you or talk with you, whatever you would like. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.